essere o non essere? Questo è il problema. Ciao studenti e bentornati. Welcome back. We are looking at the verb essere in the present tense in Italian in this 30 day series to get you started on the right foot with Italy made easy. So let's look at this verb essere. It means to be, to be. So just like in English, it's irregular. I mentioned that it, the verb to be is the best verb in English because it's as irregular as it gets and it's kind of similar to Italian verbs. I am, you are, he is. So three different forms for the three different subjects. And then that's how Italian does it, right? So you've already seen that. So let's have a look at how essere is conjugated in the present tense in Italian. Io sono. Of course, in real life, I would just say sono because that means I am already. I don't need to say io sono, but as a be super beginner, it's okay to have the subjects. Io sono, I am. To say, to say, you are, to say. Lui è, lei è, o lei, signora, è. Lei, signore, è. Which, so that, what does è? È means is. So it's either he is, she is, it is, or you, sir, are, you, ma'am, are. That's when the third person gets confusing unless you've watched our lesson on formality. In that case, you know how, what I'm doing. Noi siamo. We are. Noi siamo. Voi siete. Voi siete. You guys are. Loro sono. Loro sono. They are. So, once again, io sono. Tu sei. Lei è. Noi siamo. Voi siete. Loro sono. This is the full verb essere conjugated. You can spot a couple of things that are kind of annoying. Can you see the annoying one? Io sono and loro sono. How can the same verb form work for both subjects? Because na Manu, I got used to the idea that every verb is conjugated differently so that it's unique to the subject. You know, like parliamo can only mean we speak. Parla can only mean he or she speaks. Parlate is only you guys speak, so that's why I love Italian because it's very easy to avoid confusion because we don't need to have the subject and the verb itself says it. But now I'm confused, Manu, because you told us that this wouldn't happen. Every verb has its own form for the subject, but this one doesn't. So io sono and loro sono. How is it possible that the same word sono can work for both in Italian? Especially when I tell you that you don't need the subject, you can drop the subject. You might say, I understand, Manu, that instead of saying, tu sei stanco, you are tired, I say, sei stanco, by dropping the tu. I understand now, I've been involved in Italian, with Italian language for like almost two weeks now with you. So I understand that that could make sense. Sei stanco, are you tired? Instead of, tu sei stanco. I understand, I can ditch the tu, makes sense. I can also understand Sono Italiano means I am Italian because sono means I am. But now I'm confused because if sono also means they are, how can I not be confused when I say sono Italiano? Like, does that mean me or does it mean they? And here's the answer because there's something that you haven't learned yet, which is plurals. Remember that we, when we learned sub, uh, adjectives, we said that adjectives match the gender of the, the subject that they're referring to. So, you know, Italiano, because I'm, I'm male. Italiana, it'd be for female. Buono, to so describe a good, something masculine, and buona for something feminine. So that idea, you, you're familiar with that. So if I said sono italiano, you know that I'm talking about me, because italiano means Italian for a male. If you heard sono italiana, you would know that it's a woman saying it, right? So up to this point, no problem. But you see, adjectives will also match the number of the noun, which number is a strange word, it just means is a singular or is a plural. So far you've learned the singular endings. So Italiano means Italian for a single male, like one male, not, not single, just one male. And Italiana means Italian for one female. We haven't learned how to speak in the plural yet. You'll have to wait two lessons for that. But that is the key to your question that you maybe didn't have, like how can sono work for both? That is because sono italiano, even without the io, I know it's singular because italiano is singular. 
Italiano is an adjective that is describing a singular noun, me in this case. If I said sono italiani, they italiani, that is the plural. It means Italians in a way, like it's like they are Italians basically. So they italiani is a plural. And so even if I didn't say loro, loro sono italiani, and I just said sono italiani, you would know that I'm talking about they and not I because I'm using a plural adjective. So that is how you are going to be able to kind of figure it out. Right now, not yet, in two lessons time, you will. So, sono italiano versus sono italiani. Sono is the same, but because of the adjective, we know what the subject is for each of the verbs. So this was a very quick lesson on the most irregular and the most useful verb in Italian, essere. In the next lesson, we're going to look at Italian sentence structure. It's a key lesson because it will unlock your brain to start thinking more in terms of Italian sentences because you'll understand how the Italian sentence is structured, right? A dopo, ciao ciao!